All right, hello everybody and welcome to the fourth math challenge and this problem right here looks kind of scary because concept wise, this is a fairly simple question, right? We're all familiar with the idea of what a remainder is and how are we supposed to calculate a remainder? Like, like let's suppose we are dealing with this question like uh, 11 when we are dividing it by 3, I'm asking you what the remainder is. So you all can do this, right? 11 divided by 3, you all know 3 times 3 is a 9 and uh, you can easily say that the remainder is 2. So concept wise, as I said, this is a fairly simple <laughs> problem. But then the challenging bit is, how am I supposed to calculate the remainder? Because when I look at the numerator here, this is a scary looking numerator because this is 10 multiplied with 107 to the power 90 plus 9 multiplied with 107 to the power 80. So these are very big numbers. So we need a different method to be able to tackle this. Calculating the numerator is simply out of the question. Now, if you observe these numbers a little carefully, like, like have a look at this number here, 107, 107 and 107 and have a look at the number which is in the denominator 106 okay now i am going to make you recollect a fairly simple theorem in algebra what we call it is the remainder theorem it's a fairly simple theorem right like let's suppose there is a polynomial in x p of x now if p of x is divided by divided by x minus a, then if I were to apply the remainder theorem, the remainder is simply going to be p of a, right? We're all familiar with this. Like first thing, this is the divisor x minus a. So we equate that to zero, x minus a is equal to zero. And when does that happen? That happens for the value of x is equal to a. And we substitute that in the polynomial. That's it. Now you must be wondering, hey, this is a numbers problem. How are you trying to relate it to an algebra problem in x? You will see that now. Instead of this, let's suppose I give you this question now, like 10 x to the power 90 plus 9 x to the power 80 plus 8 x to the power 70 divided by x minus 1. If you consider this as p of x, and if you consider this as x minus a, you can fairly uh, uh, figure out the remainder, right? Like what is the remainder going to be? The remainder, as per the remainder theorem, is simply going to be p of 1. Because first thing that I do here is this is the divisor x minus 1. x minus 1, I equate that to 0. That happens for the value of x equals 1. So the remainder, as per the remainder theorem, is going to be simply p of 1. And what is that going to be? 10 multiplied with 1 to the power 90 plus 9 multiplied with 1 to the power 80 plus 8 multiplied with 1 power 70. Now 1 power any uh, thing is going to be 1 itself. So this will boil down to 10 plus 9 plus 8. Now this is going to be how much? 19 plus 8. And I believe this is going to give you 27. So applying the remainder theorem, the answer is coming around as 27. Now, as I said, you know, the question that we were given and this question here are simple. What is the difference? Well, the difference is simply this. You know, if I consider 107 to be x, let's just say, okay, then 106 can be written as 107 minus 1, right? So this can be written as x minus 1. So the answer is going to be similar to the one that we calculated here, right? So you've seen a very good application of the algebraic remainder theorem and how can we convert problems of algebra to problems of numbers make it look scary but as long as you are able to uh, pop, you know check out these fine differences in terms of the numbers and convert it to an algebra problem in terms of x you should be able to figure out even the answer to this scary looking question here so the answer to this as well is going to be the similar one that we got which is 27 i hope you have understood that now yeah cool awesome now this is a limited time offer. I'm sure you're aware of that. The code is going to be YT free. Apply that out and all Baiju's classes and the premium content on the app is going to be absolutely free. And I promise you that you are going to love these animations and visualizations that are present on the app that take your understanding to the next level. So this is going to be a limited time offer. Do go ahead and give it a try. Some other advantages. Well, you, you are aware, I'm sure, of the two teacher advantage where one teacher is present in teaching you the concept and simultaneously there will be another teacher present to clarify all your doubts trust me it can't get better than that and then one-on-one -on -one guidance would be available uh, from a personal mentor interactive classes after class uh, assignments and assessments now these assessments are designed to to you know slowly uh, build up 
like like starting with easy then giving you moderate level questions and then difficult level questions so that you are moving at a proper pace and lastly the best is you, you, you can schedule these classes as per your convenience so do give it a shot the code is going to be yt free and remember this this is going to be a limited time offer and now it's time for me to give you a homework now you have seen how to apply the remainder theorem in that particular question go ahead and think as to how you are going to apply that uh, to this uh, homework problem and figure out the answer type your answers in the comments box and i'm sure you you are going to get this and lastly guys if you've liked what you've seen today do hit that like button it will mean a lot and it will motivate us to bring these kind of uh, uh, you know challenging questions and, and content out for you share it with your friends as well i'm sure they never thought of remainder theorem like this and lastly if you still haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do thank you for your time you take care